monsoon can create some epic thunderstorms, and when those storms explode... They basically just explosively drop all their energy down, uh, usually within about a minute or two. That downburst of cold air hits the ground and pushes all the dirt out and away from the storm. That cloud of dust can travel on average 50 to 100 miles, but the strongest ones... Those have been tracked as much as like 200 to 300 miles out. That's a distance of Tucson to Yuma. The dust height can be as high as 7,000 feet, and they can measure. Some of the really big ones uh, we've seen maybe as much as 150 to 200 miles from end to end. So why do we see some of these epic dust storms one year and not the other? Research among meteorologists has shown a tie between exceptional drought conditions in southern Arizona and the dust storms. We've seen uh, kind of an uptick on years when, when it's been after maybe a few years of a drought. The year before the 2011 monsoon, the drought map showed the rainfall was less than 50% of normal. And heading into the 2018 monsoon, we're seeing the same setup, which has the National Weather Service leaning towards a very active dust storm pattern. So we're, we're kind of thinking with the, the drought getting worse, maybe we're going to see a, an uptick in those dust storms again.